Bam. Oh no, they're all burning. That means immolate time. Suck fire. Bam. God, that's so fun. God, so fun. I might just take pyromancy f for forever now, just for the rest of time. Hello everyone, my name is Gracie, and this is episode 8 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders 4 with the Eldritch Realms DLC. Now, in the last episode, we broke our first um, Umbral Abyss Umbral Nest, I think is what they're called. Yes, and so we, we, can, we can build a special sanctuary outpost here on this glyph of, like, light or whatever it's called. I remember it was a beacon of light. So it's like, this is protected... Um, from the gloom and so um, we can also like pay to upgrade it to start getting um, like pr annexable provinces around it which is super cool now and sadly I really want these two here but I really want the uh, little goobles underneath here so I can start making friends with this city because I, I want to see what that kind of stuff can do that'd be really cool so right now we're just um, we're healing up a little bit I think I was about to do this fight uh, looks a bit dangerous. Uh, Umbral submission. Allow them to flee. No, I don't. I think I'll put them down. Uh, I might just auto it just in case. Yeah, just for time saving. Now, those guys evolved into champion, which means they will uh, evolve um, and cost me a lot of mana. Yep. But that's pretty cool. Now I've got some, some pretty powerful units down here. I also just acquired a pyromancer. So let's see. Now we are up to two of the tier threes. Look at this. Tier ones do ten repeating. I think it's nine normally. And the tier and then the tier three version does eleven. It's just like it's just like until they've hit the ten percent damage, even then they're only doing twelve. I just don't get it. Like I know they have the incinerate, and that's kind of big. I guess they only they cost double the mana, but they're not are they double the strength? Not not at recruit rank, they're not. So I guess I'm going to leave them in here and let them keep getting experience from passively because they are not going to pull their weight compared to their cost, in my opinion. Uh, but it is good that they've... Up I mean, having more fire bombs is pretty cool. Um, that's just basically what a pyromancer does. Flame strike is a one hex radius, 19 damage, 90% chance of fire. This is only 60%. For some stupid reason. But it's 20 damage. So it's one more damage, but 30% less chance of burning? That's strange. I think I'd rather have the... I'd rather the decrease the damage by one and increase the burning chance, to be honest, because of the synergies. Um, kind of kind of silly, I guess. Explosive phase. Uh, Demolisher, fiery wake, immune to burning, and they hurt things when they get attacked. These do too, but it's only two fire damage. Yeah, this should be more than two, I feel like. Sorry, I don't want to hate on these guys. Like, I think it's cool to be able to get elementals and stuff, but, like, I don't know. They just don't feel strong enough for tier threes. It's just crazy to me. So we'll head over here, probably do that fight. Um, yeah, let's go over here. We'll stay in, in the sanctuary borders for one more turn. Get some uh, some healing. And then over here, we are looking to go down into this area and crush this um, spawner. Get them to stop sending units after me. Right, there's there's uh, monsters afoot. So just wait there, please. So you're popping out two ranks higher, which is 20 extra health. Which is pretty good. You've got still doing pretty decent damage. For a tier one pike. Lots of charge units and these are fighters, but this should be large. So yeah, pikes are still good here. Market produced. Got a bunch of mana or um, gold out of that fight. I don't really want to build any more units. Oh, it costs zero turns to build something. Could build a soother. Probably a good idea. Do I have any bonus draft still? Draft surplus of 64. I 
Aha. Uh, so we're about to get... Wait. Oh, that's the one we haven't done yet. Of course. Gosh. Oh, I'm feeling silly. I'm feeling silly lately, guys. I just I can't think. I don't know. Stone Conjurer Tendril Labyrinth gives gold and city stability. I really do need that. I also need this and the vendor. We need gold. I need gold. I am I'm quite poor right now. Um maybe I'll grab um maybe I'll grab production then at this moment. Got one C resource. Let's just grab I guess I should be heading this way. But this is corrupted. Um, I'll grab the ah, fuck. I'll grab the mana, even though it's infested. I'm really struggling with my res resources here. It's because I've done. It's a dumb thing to complain about, but I've actually done pretty well in combat, so I haven't lost very many units. So I'm actually paying for all the units I've ever made. Uh, <laughs> I've lost very, very few units. Oh, it's still chasing my scout down. That thing popped out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Toll of Spring. A thick, unnatural mist is spraying from the forest southwest of Spire of a User. Eerie silence engulfs the world outside the city gates. Reports of strange figures creeping in the shadows so panic among your citizens while the surrounding villages speak of people disappearing within the fog. How do you react to the horrors lurking within the mists? Why am I losing so much money? Prepare for the horrors. Um, let the people take ref refuge in the spire of user. What? So am I going to be attacked? Oh, I can't attack it without... Uh, oh, it's right there. What does this mean? What does this mean? Misty. Various mist clouds appear. Universal camouflage. Uh... Okay, well, maybe we take out this derelict workshop. Uh, no matter what hap- what? Why am I- Wasn't I making more money than this last turn? Did something happen? <laughs> okay. I, I i don't fully- Oh, shit! That's why I'm losing so much money. Ah, get to the city! Ah! Attack! Uh, whatever. It's fine. There we go. That looks better. Man, that was scary. Now I've got enough forces to go and fight this thing. Ooh, 630, actually. I might need one more unit. What do they have? Shock? And are you mounted? She is mounted. Sounds like I'm going to do fine with just an arcane guard. He's going to pop out with plus two ranks. I'm good with that. Uh, only build things that make money. This makes money. Oh yeah, I'm ready down here to go and fight this with a Mage Bane, which is annoying, but I think I'm overwhelming them with strength here. Uh, let me go up top. This is the most important thing down here. I want to take this out. I can't separate this from it because they're they're like too close. I guess if I go down there, yeah, I guess I could fight two sets of just versus six, but... I don't want to get too far away from the city either. Hmm. It's a bit of a tough one, isn't it? So if I can get people to here and here. See, the derelict workshop is really the best place to fight. I wonder if I should just do it. That's five. So that's 1,200 power, and I have... 1200 power. Okay. Let's do it the let's do it the slightly safer way. Uh Uh kind of messed this up a little bit, didn't I? So I can only pull in 10 units. Whatever. Auto combat? That's fine. I don't have time for I don't have time to do every single one. Also, I got a guy out of it, so. 
So now we can have like this guy. Great, perfect. Circlet of mind protection. Control loss immunity. So now next turn we gotta bum rush it back to the city cause something's happening up here. And I don't know what to do about it. And I can't afford to build anything. Oh, we can build, the, let's get the vendor. Uh, you're the one with the experience passive, so I don't really want the people in your care to not be in the fight. Or not with with you at all times. Let's do this one manually just for fun. Just because I autoed all those other ones. Man, I'm so nervous about this mist thing. I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. Ooh, look at all my new magma boys. Oh the little goobles! Oh. What's this? Umbral ramblings. Every attacking unit, units adjacent to each other attacking. At the start of the attacker's turn, every attacking units adjacent to another attacking unit has a 30% chance of him suffering insanity. If resisted, you lose morale. Spell jammer. Um, right, plus 100% casting. So, I don't... If you attack when you're next to somebody else, you can lose morale or go insane which is not good it's my random warrior of course we can also uh should have done this differently but it's fine There you go, big ol' rally. Hell yeah. Oh, I can cast spells on the first turn now. I should definitely be doing that. I could, ooh, spirit damage. So I can do a little bit. Oh, this costs extra mana. No, extra casting points. But I have like a lot of casting points. I think it's probably still worth, this is only six mana. Uh, let's smack the Um, the f let's get the flying one so they can't come and harass my range units as easily. Oh, I wonder if my attacking units with retaliation strikes can cause them to go insane. Ooh-wee. Okay. Oh, no, it's happening. Wait, but, but they're not attacking. Oh, it's just attacking. Oh, uh, the units that are here to attack, of course. Oh, God. Okay, no, please, no, don't. Oh, God, I'm gonna take so much damage from this. Jesus Christ. No, please stop. Oh, it's horrible. God damn. All right. Let's get you in there for a whirlwind strike. Hi. -ya. Oh, and then I should have flame striked first. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I still can. I mean, it's just a hero. Whoop bam. I got him strengthened. Oh. I can hit my own units with magic to make them strengthened. Hmm. Maybe I should stop hitting my own units, though. Now, you still have your freeze, which is great. But everybody's on fire. Let's move you to here. Let's throw a s snowball. Uh, you know, throw a snowball. Hit! Frozen. Nice. And refugied. Hmm? So, chance of stunning this guy 29%. So, 
okay. Worth a, worth a shot. That guy's constricted. These guys are crazy. Um, I don't know what to do with myself. Just keep smacking the mage bane, I guess. That's it. I lost a lot of actions to insanity. Hmm? Defense mode, okay. If I lose any units this fight, it's from them smacking each other. I one of my constrictors killed my other constrictor. <laughs> not a fi not a fan. <laughs> and these stupid refugee guys means it's gonna take. Oh wait, here maybe this will kill him. Nope. So you have to sit here being insane while I wait for the worst status effect in the game. Don't at me. Can I restore? No, because I don't know who's going to be insane next turn. So it doesn't matter. So really what I should do now is everybody just like go away from each other. Just leave each other alone. Just go away. Don't look at each other. Just everybody leave each other alone. Hit him back. No. Okay. Craziness. Craziness time. Uh, I don't see any. Wow, none. None. What the heck? 30%. Wow. Every single unit saved? No, wait. Wait, what? Oh, adjacent to another unit. Oh. Right, I forgot that that's how that worked. Okay, my bad, my bad. If you're watching, don't be mad at me, I'm sorry. I got confused about how it works. I still wouldn't have lost a unit if it wasn't for that one getting, the one next to it getting insanity twice in a row and then attacking the same unit twice in a row and then getting it constricted. Yeah. Uh, Blade of Provocation, 100 mana. Okay. Cool. So now we can kind of heal up in here a little bit and then we'll go like out. Uh, you need to go through and go get into the borders. There we go. Now go deal with this marauder problem we're having. Here's your healing. And then we'll crush these guys. Got my walls up just in time for whatever is coming. This is going to take too long. Oh, I can expand. Okay, so this will get me void stones, which is 30 mana and that special thing, right? Two allegiance with umbral dwellings per turn. Hey. Wow, what a cool little thing. Let's expand again. We can get this province. Which will give me mana and gold. Or I can expand it here and get nothing. Oh, there's two gates in this province because it's, oh, it's a mountain. Okay. It's too bad I can't get three because I really want this one. Look at that disgusting 40 gold for one province. It's awesome. But this will be fine. We'll get some stuff out of it. Good old natural gold vein. Um, shipyard. These fights here. Void stones acquired. So, I'm gaining. Okay, 40. 
It must take... Wow. I wonder if they're really strong because... Yeah, they do not like me. Pure evil. And I am not evil. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Another infestation. Okay. I'm gonna have to tell them to deal with that. Although, the, waiting for them to deal with this. Alluring voices. As the Mistwalkers lay siege to Spire of the User, an uncanny song creeps into the streets and homes. Come, our children, come out to play. To Duatha we stride with glee. No last escape, no place to flee. The Duatha day on rainbows ends. Open their mouths, raise their hands. Forever will you stay. Stories of charmed people straying into the mist and disappearing spread as an evil rumor. Ere long, there may be no one left to defend. During the siege... Captivating Mist is active. Six turns expected until all population will be lost. Must trust my troops to end this in time. What in the fuck? Holy shit. That is one of the coolest fucking things I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Deals damage in a six hex line. Captive glamour. Dominated. Has a chance. What chance? Cannot rout. When this unit's in combat, all friendly units gain frenzy. Uh, get back to the city. <laughs> Can I make it back in time? Sort of. Yeah, yeah, close enough to actually attack. Jesus Christ. Why am I running out of mana? Oh, because I'm being sieged, of course. Wild stuff. Um, there's nothing left down here to fight. So I guess these armies can actually... Well, I don't know where this goes. Maybe I should go look. There's ice. So this is annexable. Like somebody could attack me through here. So that's good to know. Uh, but now that we know, I think I'm going to get out of here. There's nobody over here, right? Like, I would see them. I'll spend one turn just getting over here just in case. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else over here. Oh, and then I gotta deal with these guys. Now, I can't get down there with this guy. But there is an infestation sending troops. I'm gonna send this one down to sort of, like, get closer. Um, I thought that was gonna take one turn. What happened? Did I lose production? Oh, they, they, no, the, the mine doesn't count as production. What happened here? So do I have enough units for this? Not really. Let's buy rush that. Uh, I can also add this little guy in. Um, how are we doing on time? We've got time. We've got time for this. So this went manually because I'm probably going to send fiery hell down on her. <laughs> so I've got two berserkers, but I have two spearmen. Counter charge. Yay. Uh, let's form up right about. Maybe we can convince. No, nah, they're going to want to go through here. I guarantee it. I also have two golems, which can stand by the spearmen and give them more armor. Which is pretty good. Pretty good deal. What does she have? Just a bow. Oh, excuse me. Let's 
All right, so they're coming up. Um, so honestly, I probably want to get like up in their business like this and then just get behind them and go in defense mode. So now these guys can't get a very far, like they can't get a, a they can't run very far before they hit to get their charge bonus and they get charge blocked by a spear strike. So they, they just don't, they're just gonna like die on spears and plus they get the extra armor from the golem in defense mode. So I think I send this one up and just like, I'm ready. I'm ready for this charge. Uh, and then we'll just send, like, maybe this guy over to here. Start smacking this guy with some fire. Constricted. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I couldn't quite reach. This is a pyromancer. Oh! There you go. Bam! Oh, no, they're all burning. That means immolate time. Suck fire! Bam! God, that's so fun. God, so fun. Mm -hmm. I might just take pyromancy for forever now, just for the rest of time. It's classic magic stuff. Yeah. Ow, that hurts. The hell, dude. I'm distracted. Oh no. Does that? No, I still counter. But I get a flank hit, probably. Oh, that hit really hard. Oh boy. What's my chance to miss there? Their chance. Eh, a 50, okay. Oh, I see. When they hit, have a 50% chance to hit, they hit three times. And when I have a 50% chance to hit, I miss three times. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Angel Wonders 4? Triumph Studios, answer for this crime. Duh. Terrible. <laughs> Can't believe you did this to me. I'll give them a little touch of mending. Oop. And then let's, uh, who has, they both have two models. Uh, let's do this one. Oh, I was constrict. They're both constricted, so there's no reason to move up to this one. It can't do anything. I should have cast a spell. Let's burn these guys down. Oh, I should have done that first. I can't. Sometimes it's hard to remember. Uh, that's. I get more value out of it than if they hit me, because I only respond once. So I'll just here we go. We'll get defense mode, extra armor. I take less damage back. Here we go. Ugh. Look at this fiery wasteland over here I've made. No, stop! Ow, it hurts! Jeez! Don't. Smack him. My home defense force is not doing great. Oh no, okay, fire. I've got more fire to blast. Uh, oh god. Let's just kill this one off. Whoop bam! Constricted. Berserk. Uh, that means they lose the damage penalty from missing characters. Cannot die. This guy, I think I'm gonna walk up to him in defense mode. Cause he can't die anyway, and this way his charge is like pretty weak. 
at 9 armor. So they will knock me out of defense mode, but the, the hit still hits my defense. Ow! <laughs> See, I did that on purpose to force her to retreat into the fire. Damn, she's still got a kill. Oh my god, my, my defense force is falling. At least I keep these these golems are gonna hang around for a bit. That's pretty sick. Or a flame strike. Um let's just go up here and get the nineties. She's constricted, but that doesn't do anything for me because she's really got a pretty decent range attack. All right, lost a few, but we defended the homestead and I got a spell shield. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to take these guys and head up to here and await the next group, which is attacking me. Uh, we're also out of time. So let's end this episode here and then we will continue on. Oh my God. I'm so scared about this. What is going to happen? I have two turns. So I get close enough. Yeah, I have to fight him next turn. Quite wounded. Soother. One soother. So I have one healer. So I can make I can make that work. Heal up my frontline units. Like the two the spell. The two spell uh, the arcane guard maybe. Just don't stand in a straight line. And don't get seduced. Oh dear. Okay. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. If you have, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the link in the description below for my Patreon if you want to support the channel, which I would really, really appreciate. And I will see everybody in the next episode. Thank you for watching.